哈。Hi kids, I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Bruh, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is super cool. It starts with an S and is known for its triangle-shaped plates on its back. Bruh, it's a turtle. Not quite, Bruno. Turtles do have shells on their backs, but the answer is Stegosaurus. Can you say Stegosaurus? Steg, o, sor, us. Stegosaurus. Bruh, Stegosaurus. Good job, Bruno. The Stegosaurus lived in the late Jurassic period in Asia and Western America. Bruh, time travel. I wish we could, Bruno. Which reminds me, Professor Fez gave me a new gadget. It's a time simulator. I guess I press this button right here. Whoa! Bruh, amazing! Wow, the time simulator really works. Look, Bruno, a real Stegosaurus. Bruh, he's big. He's about the size of a bus, Bruno. Nine meters, or 30 feet long, and four meters, or 14 feet tall. They weigh about two tons, or as much as a car. Bruh, it's a lizard. Funny you should say that, Bruno. The word Stegosaurus means roofed lizard. The Stegosaurus is a plant eater, which means herbivore. Can you say herbivore? Herb, a, vor, herbivore. Brock eat salad. That's right, Bruno. They eat lots of salad all day long and are the first dinosaur to have cheeks. Look at that tail, Bruno. Brock, ouch. That would hurt. They use that tail to smash other dinosaurs. It's called a thagomizer. Can you say thagomizer? Thag, o, mize, er, thagomizer. The stegosaurus didn't do more than eat and look cool. Probably why their brain was the size of a walnut. Oh no, Bruno. That was a close call. There was a big dinosaur going. It sounded like a T-Rex. Phew, that was really scary, Bruno. Okay, kids, that ends today's show, but we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Rock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur starts with a T and is known for its three horns on its head. Brock, a rhino. That's right, Bruno. Rhinos do have horns on their heads, but the answer is triceratops. Can you say triceratops? Brock, tricycle. Like this, Bruno. Tri, ser, a, uh, tops. Triceratops. Brock, Triceratops. Good job, Bruno. The Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. That's 65 million years ago. Brock, that's old. It is, Bruno. They lived in North America right before the asteroid hit. Hey, we should use the time simulator. Brock, so cool. Amazing, Bruno. Look, a real Triceratops. Brock, he's huge. He is, Bruno. Some Triceratops could weigh as much as a T-Rex, or about five tons. They're about nine meters, or 30 feet long, and three meters, or 10 feet tall. Their name Triceratops means three-horned face. They also had a very thick skin for protection from other dinosaurs. Did you know the Triceratops head was one third of its body? And they had a beak, like you, Bruno, to eat with. Brock, big ah. beak. It is, Bruno. Oh no, it's the T-Rex again. Triceratops were known to be T-Rex food. Brock, I'm scared. Another close call, Bruno. Brock, sure was. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. 
I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is super cool. It starts with a V and is known for the famous Jurassic movies. Brock, vampire. Very funny, Bruno. But the answer is Velociraptor. Can you say Velociraptor? Brock, velocity. Almost, Bruno. Like this. La, loss, a, rap, tour. Velociraptor. Brock, Velociraptor. Nice work, Bruno. The Velociraptor lived 70 million years ago, in the Cretaceous period, somewhere in Central Asia. Do you know what time it is, Bruno? Brock, simulator time. That's right. Time to use my special time simulator. Brock, super cool. Wow, that's a Velociraptor from the famous movies. Velociraptor means swift robber, and those curved claws help them catch their food. But this isn't a real Velociraptor. It's actually a Dinonychus, which we'll cover in another episode. Brock, coming soon. Let's see what a real Velociraptor looks like. I guess I press this button here. Brock, big difference. Yeah, Bruno. They have feathers and are about the size of a turkey. They weighed about 30 pounds. We're about two feet tall and two meters or six feet long. Velociraptor wasn't as smart as the movie said. Brock, big dummy. And they probably didn't hunt in packs. But Brock, T-Rex. He's coming again, Bruno. Oh, no. I think that T-Rex is after us, Bruno. Brock, me too. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is awesome. It starts with a D and was the model for the Velociraptor from the Jurassic movies. Brock, Dinonychus. That's right, Bruno. It's a Dinonychus. You watched the last episode. Can you say Dinonychus like this? di no ni gus Dinonychus. Brock, Dinonychus. Great job, Bruno. The Dinonychus lived in the late Cretaceous period in North America. Fossils were found in Montana. Brock, simulator. You got it, Bruno. Let's go back in time with the time simulator. Brock, he's cool. So cool, Bruno. The word Dinonychus means terrible claw for obvious reasons. Brock, ouch. Those curved claws made catching food easy and are what made scientists believe they evolved into birds. The Dinonychus was a carnivore, which means they eat meat. They had very sharp teeth with a bite as strong as a crocodile. They weighed about 180 pounds, were about one and a half meters or five feet tall and three meters or 10 feet long. The Dinonychus was bipedal, which means they walk on two feet, like humans do. More than likely, they were feathered, like the Velociraptor. They also had a pretty big brain for their size. Brock, he's coming. The T-Rex is back. Let's get out of here, Bruno. He's going to catch us one of these days, Bruno. Brock, hope not. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is one of my favorites. It starts with an A and has a tail like a club. Brock, albatross. 
Nice try, Bruno. Albatross does start with an A, but an albatross is a bird. The answer is Ankylosaurus. Brock, sore ankle. So close, Bruno. Like this. Ang, ki, lo, sore, us. Ankylosaurus. Brock, Ankylosaurus. That's it, Bruno. Ankylosaurus lived in the Cretaceous period in North America and Canada. Where do you think the fossils were found, Bruno? Brock, Montana. That's right, Bruno. Montana's the state the fossils were found. Time to use the time simulator and see what they really look like. Brock, big tail. You're right, Bruno. That club-like tail was used to swing at other dinosaurs for protection, just like all those armored plates on its back. Ankylosaurus was a herbivore, which means... Brock, eats plants. That's right, Bruno. Herbivore means plant eater. The word Ankylosaurus means fused lizard. They lived for about 80 years and were quadrupedal, which means they walked on four feet. Quad means four, and pedal means feet. They had a maximum speed of about five miles an hour. They weighed about four tons, or as much as an elephant. The Ankylosaurus was about six meters, or 20 feet long, and was about six feet, or two meters tall. They also had a great sense of smell. Oh no, Bruno! Brock T-Rex! Where's the time simulator? I can't find it! Brock, hurry up! Here it is, Bruno! Wow, Bruno, I can see him coming this time. Brock, scary. It is, Bruno. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is amazing. It starts with a B and is one of the biggest dinosaurs of them all. Brock, it's big. It is, Bruno. It's a brontosaurus. Can you say brontosaurus? Brock, fucking bronco. Close, Bruno. Like this. Bron-to-sor-us. Brontosaurus. Brock, brontosaurus. Good job, Bruno. Let's use the time simulator and see what one looks like. Brock, big boy. He's huge, Bruno. The brontosaurus was about 75 feet or 23 meters long and 40 feet or 12 meters tall. They weighed about 25 tons. That's as much as 12 cars. It took about 10 years to reach full size and they lived for about a hundred years. Brock, that's old. It is, Bruno. They lived about as long as a turtle. The brontosaurus was a sauropod that lived in the late Jurassic period, over 150 million years ago. They lived in the western part of North America. Brock, why are they? That's right, Bruno. In 1879, fossils were found in Wyoming. Though archaeologists have never found a brontosaurus skull. Brontosaurus means thunder lizard. Brock, cool name. It's an awesome name, Bruno. Brontosaurus is a herbivore and had the smallest brain. Brock, he brain. That's funny, Bruno. The brontosaurus had nostrils on top of its head. Brock, he's back. Oh no, the T-Rex. We gotta get out of here. Brock, he's coming, Zip. Wow, that gets scarier each time. Brock, almost peed my pants. Very funny, Bruno. You don't have pants, but it was frightening. Okay, kids, that ends today's show, but we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, Hi, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, kids. Today's dinosaur is kind of scary. It starts with an S and has spines on its back. Brock, porcupine. Nice try, Bruno, but the answer is Spinosaurus. 
Can you say Spinosaurus? Rock can't say it. Okay, Bruno, try this. Spine, o, sore, us. Spinosaurus. Rock, Spinosaurus. That's it, Bruno. Let's use the time simulator and see what it looks like. Rock, uh-oh. Uh-oh is right, Bruno. I wouldn't want to run into this guy. The Spinosaurus was the largest carnivore. Rock eats me. That's right, Bruno. He was even bigger than a T-Rex. They lived during the Cretaceous period, about 100 million years ago. Fossils were found in... Rock, Montana. Not this time, Bruno. Fossils were found in Egypt. Rock, Africa. That's right, Bruno. The Spinosaurus was around 60 feet or 18 meters long and 20 feet or 6 meters tall. It could weigh as much as 20 tons. Rock, that's heavy. It is, Bruno. The Spinosaurus were probably fish eaters. They lived on land as well as water. Spinosaurus means spine lizard. The spines on its back were about six feet or two meters high. The Spinosaurus had straight teeth, unlike other dinosaurs who had... Brock, he's here. The T-Rex is back. Brock, hurry zip, he's close. Closer and closer each time, Bruno. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, kids. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is kind of scary, too. It's like a mini T-Rex. It starts with an A and was one of the fastest of all dinosaurs. Brock, asteroid. Asteroids are fast, Bruno, but the answer is Allosaurus. Can you say Allosaurus? Brock, aluminum. Almost, Bruno, like this. Al, O, Sor, Us, Allosaurus. Brock, Allosaurus. Nice work, Bruno. Let's use the time simulator and see what one looks like. Brock, it's scary. They are scary, Bruno. The Allosaurus was a carnivore. Brock, eats me. Scientists say they hunted in packs like wolves. Allosaurus are theropods who run on two feet. They lived in the late Jurassic period, about 150 million years ago. Fossils were found in Rock, Wyoming. That's right, Bruno. But they were also found in Utah, Colorado, Portugal, and even Siberia. Rock, that's far. It is, Bruno. The Allosaurus was about 40 feet or 12 meters long and 16 feet or 5 meters tall. It weighed about 4 tons. Allosaurus means different lizard. They had over 60 curved teeth, some as long as four inches. The Allosaurus used their tail for balance. Brock, uh-oh, Zip. The T-Rex, he's after us. Brock, he's coming. That's scary, Bruno. Brock, can I open my eyes? Yes, Bruno, we're safe now, back in the treehouse. Okay, kids, that ends today's show, but we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is super cool. It starts with a P and has wings. Brock, a parrot. Very funny, Bruno. But you're not a dinosaur. The answer is pterodactyl. Can you say pterodactyl? Brock, terrible tractor. So close, Bruno. Like this. Ter, o, dac, til. Pterodactyl. Brock, pterodactyl. Great job, Bruno. That's a tough one. Let's use the time simulator and see how cool they look. Brock, he's got wings. He does, Bruno, just like you. The pterodactyl wasn't actually a dinosaur. It was a pterosaur, or winged lizard. 
The pterodactyl was a quadruped. Brock, four feet. That's right, Bruno. They walked on four feet, like bats do. Pterodactyl means winged finger. They lived in the late Triassic period to the end of the Cretaceous period. Fossils were found in Africa and Europe. Pterodactyls were about four feet or over a meter long. Their wingspan was about two and a half feet or almost one meter. They glided through the air at around 60 miles per hour or 96 kilometers per hour. They weighed about 10 pounds. The pterodactyls were carnivorous. Rock eats me. That's right, Bruno, but they probably ate some fruits as well. They had many razor sharp teeth to eat fish with. Pterodactyls have an extended beak for a uh, T-Rex zip. He found us. Uh, uh-oh. Let's get out of here, Bruno. Wow, Bruno. He was so close. Brock, scary. Okay, kids. That ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip. And this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is totally awesome. It starts with an N and lives underwater. Brock, Nutria. Nice try, Bruno. Nutria do swim in water, but the answer is Nothosaurus. Can you say Nothosaurus? Brock, not really. Okay, Bruno. Like this. Na, tho, sor, us. Nothosaurus. Brock, Nothosaurus. Great job, Bruno. Let's use the time simulator and see what they look like. Brock, underwater. That's right, Bruno. The Nothosaurus spent most of its time in water, but they probably slept on land. Like seals do. Nothosaurus means false lizard. They lived in the Triassic period over 250 million years ago. Fossils have been found all over the world, but mostly in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Nothosaurus wasn't a dinosaur. They were marine reptiles who probably evolved into the plesiosaurs. Nothosaurus were carnivores. Brock, eat me. That's right, Bruno. They fed on fish and crustaceans, like crabs. They ranged in size from six feet or two meters to 20 feet or six meters. They weighed up to 200 pounds. The Nothosaurus were powerful swimmers with long slender necks and tails. They had many sharp teeth too. Brock, he's close. How did the T-Rex find us? Brock, hurry, Zip. That's always scary, Bruno. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Bippy-pie.